Short time ago, we had Screech here. Oh, oh, wait a minute, we had Mario Lopez, okay, so Dustin and Mario, and their favorite principal is with me now, Dennis Haskins. How are you? Mr. Belding, wow. Hey, it's great to be back. You know, I was here a couple of years ago, and Howard's a friend of mine, uh, DJ Hollywood out of L uh, the Beat Clan. Those right. guys are here. But you and I, you and I know about WWE Raw and my friend Zack Ryder. Wait, we, we know something else, too. What's that? If I'm going to sing karaoke, I'm going to do it with my <laughs> favorite principal. Now, wait. I, I'm going to have to do it with you and Brooke Hogan. Would that be okay? Oh, that'd be great. <laughs> I, you know what? I, I think I'm going to see Brooke tomorrow back in L.A. Her brother Nick's doing a thing in L.A. I, I, I Brooke came to my birthday party somehow through, a, through my friend Jeff Franklin, who was developing a show for her. He did a little show called Full House. Uh, so we became friends, and Brooke said she wanted to sing a song. So I said, what do you want to sing? She goes, I don't know, how about Mustang Salad? And that's your duet. That's our duet. So yeah. so we'll do Mustang Salad. Did you do Midnight Hour too? Wait, you did something that's else. That's a great song. Did you do that? Just something I haven't else. done that. I should do that. I just like <laughs> to sing. I go to this place called Dimples. It's the, the first karaoke bar ever in the United States. It's my cheers. I walk in, they throw me a bottle of water. I sit in the corner, I say hi to people. It's fun. So you're having a blast. Yeah. You're recording CDs. You're going to Monday Night Raw. But you know what? You are absolutely an American icon. What an this amazing show thing. was was unbelievable. Tell us about your run because you were on Good Morning Miss Bliss also. We started as a sh well the show. I, I got a job on a show called Good Morning Miss Bliss where I played Mr. Belding with Haley Mills, who's the only person I ever wrote a fan letter to. Unbelievable. She was the Britney Spears of her day, except she kept her pants on. Absolutely. You know, <laughs> and I and her and Britney's manager is a friend of mine, so I love Britney. So uh, and, anyway, that show didn't work. So Brandon Tartikoff and Peter Engel bought the rights to the characters of Zack Screech, Lisa, and Mr. Belding, how lucky am I, added Slater, Jesse Kelly, and at the time Max, who uh, then went away after a year. And the rest is history. You know, it's unbelievable. And then I end up in, hanging out with pro wrestlers and, and being here at Harris Pool After Dark and I'm going around the world in the White House. I'm in the White House with Screech. No. Screech buddies up with a uniformed Secret Service guard. We're in the Oval Office. He disappears. He comes back. I went, Dust, where'd you go? He goes, Dan, I told the guy I had to use the bathroom, so he took me in the president's personal bathroom. I was like, you know. That, no way. That, I'm t I tell you the swear. Well, yeah, I believe it, because you know what? He was, he was here a couple months ago. We had a nice little I'm chat. I'm sorry. Good, oh, no. Good, good guy. So but you know what? Dustin and I worked together from the time he's 11 years old, and on the new class, he and I became a team, so we worked together 11 years. And I have a lot of, a lot of respect and admiration for Dustin. How long were you on that show? 11 years from start to finish. Oh, well, People you were Magazine. <laughs> Left me off the cover. Jimmy Fallon tried to reunite the cast. and I, I can, remember that. Yeah. But that's the affection that's out there. Even a guy like Jimmy Fallon and his staff, they have a hot show. And to take yes, time to does. try and reunite our cast, they eventually reunited California Dreams. But, uh, hey, we're getting ready to go inside and have a great but, time But you would have gone on Jimmy Fallon. He would have had you playing, like, Monopoly in games because he plays games. I love that. Night. I love that. But you know what? This is like at the very beginning of the first year. My school, Chattanooga, was in the basketball tournament. Because I was an alumni, they surprised the audience, had me come up through the floor. They went crazy. Yeah, you're from Tennessee. Yeah, Chattanooga. So, that, so two weeks later, the writers said, hey, you know what? That response was so big. Let's try to reunite the show. Mark Paul, if you guys want to see something really cool, Mark Paul Gosselaar, as Zach Morris on Jimmy Fallon, go to Google or Hulu or something. It's really, really You've got a big night because you're, wait a minute, you're, you're just starting because yeah. you're going into the pool now. Yeah. But then we know, oh, we got word. Oh, I heard. About 1.30, he's going to the foundation room. That's a party. Wish you could be here. Yeah. It's going to be great. Hey, thanks, man. It's a lot of fun. I, I love coming here. I get treated so special here, I really do. I want to thank Howard Weiss and everybody here. It was just a, a really good experience. And it's, listen, there's nothing like coming to New Jersey. Absolutely. There's really not, I'm not kidding you. Atlantic City's the greatest place on earth. I agree with you. <laughs> I mean, hey, this is where it all started, folks. Come on, this is it. Mr. Belding with Mark Berman on NJ.com and The Mark Berman Show.